Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as the Pacific States. Let us continue off our last off. So, we are in a rough situation, I would say. So, um, we've lost our holding in the Netherlands. We're trying to invade through Hamburg, but it doesn't really seem like it's going too, too well. And our invasion of Norway has not really stalled, per se. Uh, but our allies have just thrown so many men into the area that it's kind of impossible to do anything. Like, down here in Lyon, things are going okay. I mean, we're not losing ground, but it's just pushing is going to be such a challenge. Because, more or less, everybody has just a ton of troops. Everybody has so many men that it's almost impossible to actually get anything done. Right, another naval invasion. It probably won't work, but there's a slim chance it might. We do got a research available. Let's go for the half track. M1 carbon is going to be done in one more day. And from now, let's go for... Let's get, like, better aircraft. We probably are lacking behind that slightly. And again, if there's just a... It's a, just the off chance that... We can land troops in Hamburg. Maybe we can get something done here. Uh, increased military spending? Absolutely, that seems very important because we are in the middle of a major war. Could we attack? No, Paris has way too many men. And it's got like a level, what, 9 fort? Level 7 fort? That's pretty impressive. I mean, we don't have air superiority over the area, unfortunately. Like, are we really somewhat close? No, not really. For all of our planes over northern France. Is that is that all of our planes? Like we have 2600. I feel like we should have more than we do. No, not really. We have some more close air support, but that's not really what we're lacking in. Okay, we lost two boats here. Again, you're trying to win invasion of Hamburg. If you can manage to do it. No, but then they send reinforcements, which just makes things a lot more difficult than they have to be, huh? France. Yeah, so you're going to immediately retreat. I mean, we could theoretically attack with more men. And assume you're just immediately ready to go. And also, the, the Germans have land troops in uh, Portsmouth, which is less great. Okay, let's say they're trying to attack in all directions. Like, again, I don't think we're going to lose any battles. The Italian Republic has declared war on Sardinia. Sardinia is in the Entente. The Italian Republic is in the Austrian faction, which means that Austria, which as far as I know did not get involved in the Second World Krieg, uh, will be able to throw like their full weight. And the Germans actually landed a lot of troops down here. That is dangerous. Oh, you guys actually managed to land. That is... I'm actually impressed by that. Okay, all of you... Okay, you're also going to play down here. Thank you very much. If you're on this order, please also get down here. What can we do about Italy entering the war? The great question. What do we do about the Germans landing over here in the Lake London? Got a a lot of problems, one could say. We'll wait for our reinforcements to at least arrive into Germany itself. Get some more non aggression packs. So are we all worth the Austrians? We are. We are indeed. Well, That does make things more complicated, doesn't it? I gotta somehow bring troops back to... Frickin'... What to call it? Britain. Soviets want to give some volunteers. Would you like just declare war on Germany? That would actually be, like, very helpful.
Like, I don't think you understand how helpful that would actually be to me. We're trying to push out as much as we possibly can. Uh... You declared war on the south. Okay, so India's still not really involved in any major offensive. But I think Italy... Or I guess Austria, to say uh, more so than anything, is really going to make things difficult. Because I would say, you know, we weren't really in a great position before. And this really hasn't helped out our position in any meaningful way. Um, I guess let's build like some more con- Well, we already have a ton of convoys. Build more of these other ships. I mean, if we can theoretically get Germany to capitulate, then maybe we can make it somewhere, but that seems almost impossible. If we can take Kiel, we can at least, like, kind of split these armies in half. Have, like, a north and a southern front. Would that really be able to help us? I don't know. We got a bunch of close air support. I guess you're going to fly over here. Give some support to our allies. The Germans are... Albania's capitulated. Was Albania part of our faction? Apparently they were. I guess Greece is in the Entente, that makes sense. Hey, we're at 71 here. We'll capture this fort. It's only level 1, but you know, it's better than nothing. But we are really in a... ...the bad spot. Can I deploy more troops? Uh, answer is like, not really. These nine divisions, I'm actually just assigning them under a different commander. I'm going to immediately deploy you onto this front. Please go over there and save the British from themselves. Thank you very much. Because what was actually happening is just an embarrassment. Also, I deleted your front line. I apologize for that. I didn't mean to. I'm just, I'm just amazed by what Britain has managed to accomplish so far. I'm sure Greece is probably going to fall. Um, I wouldn't be surprised by that outcome. at least push our way out of Hamburg. I think there's only one way. Like, I don't think these provinces connect. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. We move them across the river. Still missing our naval bombers. That's okay. Our troops are slowly arriving to try to help out the British as much as we possibly can. Does anybody feel confident? Green feels confident in attack. You know what, buddy? You go for it. You try your damnedest. Is there anybody else that would actually support you in that attack? Do like a massive attack, actually, on their front lines. All of you. And see what you can get done. Because the, the Germans landing in... Britain... Um, I think I want political power. Not too sure what I want it for, but I think we do want it for something. We have more military factories. Uh, by that, we have one more military factory. Two more military factories, one more. Get to vent military research. Oh, an extra research slot? You know what? That could probably prove beneficial. We're still in partial mobilization. Let's go to a war economy. 
let's go up to... I mean, extensive actually probably still fine for right now. No, wait, we're still dropping, right. So let's at least make the minimum 10%. And that should be okay. Norway should hold on well enough. Greece, like, I think it's definitely going to fall eventually. Like, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Surprisingly, like, the Italian front, I think, can hold. Mostly because it's just pure mountains. Uh, what do we need, actually? We need free equipment. Thousand days. So I guess we'll just build more rifles. I mean, we're still waiting for our production officially cap to reach its maximum again. Which might take a while, but I don't think it'll take too, too long. So I'm kind of leaning towards that this might be the final episode. I don't think the Soviets are ever going to actually get involved in the war. They haven't even, even done the decision yet. They even try to get involved. Which is unfortunate. Uh, we lost two more destroyers into the far north, which sucks for us. Paris, I don't think, is ever going to fall. It's just, it's just an extremely um, fortified location. We don't have enough aircraft to really make any breakthroughs here, I would say. We can at least take two words. France is still, like, not even really close to capitulating at all. And how much, how much manpower do you still have, Germany? More than we do. The Austrians don't have as much as we do, but that's not saying much. Greece is already very, very close to actually falling. The Italians have not managed to push their way into France itself, but they're extremely close in Nice. Tours is going to fall. What does that mean for us? I don't really know. I mean, it's what, like three points worth of land? It's not really that impressive. Like, we've already lost 1.37 million people. Mostly against Germany. That's not a huge surprise. I mean, they are the main adversary here. Okay, so we took the city. The reinforcements are going to try to get to this province. Hmm. Yeah, Nisa's nice definitely going to fall soon. We've at least been able to hold off the German advance in Britain. You know, but this is what occupying, well, like nine divisions, not too, too bad. Okay, we can at least advance, you know, one province over here. Yellow, you're just gonna have a battle plan that's gonna be pushed away into Wales. Am I still dealing with the bombings? Okay, for like for another five days. Hopefully at that point it should be over. Also, don't be like a spearhead, just be like a regular offensive line. There we go. So we're gonna break through two of these, it looks like. So not too, too bad. We're at least, you know, sinking some German ships. We did lose Nice, which is not the best news we could have received. Surprisingly, France is still holding on to Algeria. I really thought they would have lost it a while ago. And two more German ships have been sunk. Fantastic.
We have three divisions in Birmingham. All of them are pretty well defended, unfortunately. However, if we attack here, we might be able to kick these two divisions out and surround Birmingham. That's theoretically possible. Uh, let's go for the bonus force infantry equipment. Because generally, I do think it's just the best in almost any situation. Maybe I'm wrong. But it just genuinely seems like it's probably like always the right choice. Yes, Alaska can be a state. Seems fine. Give it a little bit of extra manpower. So we still have fading. So we still got to do one more. Okay, we can recognize the Albanian government. That's fine. Let's rebuild the south. I mean, realistically, you probably should have done all of the reconstruction before we started to enter World War II. Or I guess World War III kind of at this point. You know, if you were to do the, the logical thing, like a nerd. I mean, we managed to take like a decent chunk of Germany so far. Our attacks, however, do seem to kind of be failing in Britain. And then France... I mean, it could be worse. The Italians have begun to advance a little bit into the Pope's territory. And Greece is definitely on the verge of collapse. Another five factories here. I guess just hold on for right now. Like, if we can take the Kiel Canal, that seems good to me. I might be completely wrong on that, but it seems like a pretty decent option here. Hmm. You still feel pretty confident. Surprisingly, Green Army also, like, in the middle, also feels relatively confident what they're actually doing. I wish I could kind of tell them to, like, not attack Paris, because it's really not benefiting us at all. But we are making some progress. Very, very slow progress, but we are making some. Okay, let's get better fighters. Oh, we don't have enough resources. Okay. Canada, give me some chromium. Uh, Japan, give me some more rubber. Thank you very much. Let's go for... Go for better tactical bombers as well. I mean, unsurprisingly, the Germans have put a lot of men... Trying to contain us over here. And also the Germans have landed behind us and have taken most of the ports. In Norway as well. So that's less great. However, I think given the current circumstances of the world, that I am going to be ending the series here. It's a little bit uh, premature, you might say. But I think, I think by the time we can actually, if we can manage to defeat Germany and Austria, which I, I do think... Given enough time, we would be able to. Um, once we, you know, rebuild the entire country, start massively mobilizing our troops, we probably could. However, by the time we can do that, it's going to take a while. It's going to take too long uh, for the for for that to actually happen. And for so for that reason, I'm kind of going to be ending the series here. Uh, so tune in tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be playing as Germany. I haven't actually done a German Empire campaign in uh, Kaiserreich. I haven't really done most of the mainland 
Reich's Pact members. I think I've only done like Reich's Pact. Who have I done Reich's Pact as? Have I ever done a Reich's Pact game? No, I don't want as Middle Africa. But other than that, I'm actually thinking. At Bulgaria, was I also part of the Reich's Pact? No, I joined the Russian faction. Was, was there no one else I've ever been Reich's Pact as other than Middle Africa? I guess not. Huh. But anyway, tomorrow we'll be playing as Germany, so tune in then. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now enjoy, close thumbs down. Want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.